Hey everyone, so congratulations, you've installed this update, the KB5063878. Your reward is stuttering streams, vanishing SSDs, and recovery tools that need their own recovery. Yeah, so, you know, in all seriousness, there is an issue with Windows Update KB5063878. Well, there are many issues, but I think that the biggest issue is with many different SSDs, um, there's a small list in here, but with many SSDs, there's been reports out there that some certain drives with certain controllers, if you write data larger than 50 gigs or more, some can cause drives to disappear from File Explorer completely. So if you're transferring a lot of data uh, from one drive to another on certain SSDs, the drive will just disappear from your File Explorer. Now, there are reports that with a reboot, they return, um, but there are some reports that say that the drive does not return at all, and some reports that say that it completely corrupted the drive. So, um, I'm not really sure exactly how this works, but um, this site here explains a little bit about it, and there's even a small list here of drives that could be affected. So with this being said, until Microsoft fixes this, I'm going to show you how to pause updates and uninstall or roll back this particular update. So all we have to do to do that is we're just going to click here. Um, I think you can just, yeah, you can for updates much. And so when you get this window here, the first thing that I would do is go ahead and pause this. I want to click pause on that so no updates come through because when we uninstall this or roll this back and reboot and your system checks for updates, it's just going to grab the same update. So I would recommend keeping this paused until Microsoft fixes that problem. Now, Microsoft usually posts in their release, their Windows release health dashboard. And I'm going to put that link down in the description below too. But they generally post down there when a problem is resolved. So, or Windows 11, it's most likely going to be rolled out because Microsoft does know about it from what I understand. And Windows gets their security and cumulative patch updates on what's called Patch Tuesday, which is the second Tuesday of each month. Um, so we're coming up on that second Tuesday of September here in just a couple of weeks. So... They're most likely, from what I've read, going to roll out the patch in that. So I would keep this uh, paused until then. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's really one of those things that's kind of a bummer. But um, if you guys insist on not pausing your updates because you need them for security reasons, you can unpause it, but just manually skip the KB5063878. And you can do that by hiding it in Microsoft Show or Hide Updates Troubleshooter Tool. But anyway, guys, the way to uninstall this, um, first, just see if you have it. So with that said, you're just going to go to Update History here. And then you're just going to look for it in this list. And look right there. It's the first thing that we see. So on this machine, it was installed on 8.16 of 25, right at about 10 days ago. So we know this system has it. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down here. And then what you're going to do is uninstall updates. Now it will populate a list of the ones that you can uninstall. And thankfully this one is right here on this list. So all you do from here is you click uninstall and it's going to give you the little prompt here. It's going to just confirm this is what we're on uninstalling and tell you it could put your PC at risk. Well, I mean, with this update, some PCs are more at risk anyway. So you're going to go ahead and click uninstall on this. And it's going to go through its whole thing here. It really shouldn't take long. I've actually never done this. So whatever it's doing in the background, there you go. Now, there's a couple things here, guys. Um, when you're uninstalling this, you are going to be prompted to reboot. And the other thing, if you are uninstalling and get an error like this, the 0x800F0825, all you have to do at that point is just um, search for features and programs. 
to turn off features or programs. Then you'll scroll all the way down and you're going to uncheck Windows Sandbox and hit OK. That is generally what trips that error. I don't have mine check marked here, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that. But if you are getting that uh, pop up error associated with that, that is why. So we'll just go ahead and let this finish up here. And as you see, it is finished without the error because Windows Sandbox was not checked in the features. And uh, once you get this, you're going to go ahead and restart your computer. And that is all there is to it, guys, to roll that back or uninstall that, uh, that patch uh, or that, you know, the KB5063878. So again, it's up to you on how long you want to pause your Windows update for or if you just want to go into the show or hide updates troubleshooter tool um, to hide it so you don't get that back. But that is how you fix that, guys. Again, this website here is going to show you more about the issue, and that is down in the description below. And I've also included the Windows Release Health website that gives you all the latest information and uh, progress as far as things that they're fixing and aware of. Anyway, guys, that is it. I hope this is helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and click the like and consider subscribing. Thanks.